Joe Juck is a name known around the diocese. He's a well-known musician and sound guy. And since we are celebrating Catholic Schools Week, we want to mention that he is a graduate of St. Stanislaus School in Chicopee and the former Cathedral High School here in Springfield. Well, Joe just made the big time. Landing a job at EWTN, Carolee McGrath sat down with Joe and his new bride to hear more about their exciting future. By all accounts, Joe Juck has God-given talents. He's a gifted piano player, singer, and music minister. A graduate of the University of Hartford, he's also a highly sought-after audio engineer, working for NBC during the last three Olympics. Juck is well known around the diocese, but now he's heading for the big leagues in Catholic television. Yeah, well, uh, I was actually working in Rio at the time for the Olympics. I was doing the, my third Olympics with NBC and um, I got a phone call while I was down there and it was uh, somebody from EWTN that said that they had a position that opened up and they wanted to see if they could schedule a Skype interview with me and uh, so it was kind of perfect timing. And a dream job at the young age of 24. Joe will be a broadcast engineer for EWTN and it didn't hurt that he was a cathedral graduate. Michael Warsaw, who is the CEO of EWTN, was here in Springfield speaking at Cathedral High School because he was a graduate of Cathedral. And I got a phone call when I came back from my second Olympics in uh, Sochi at the time. They asked me to come and to meet Michael because he was a, um, a, you know, a graduate and involved in television. So I went over and I was there for his speech and then um, I was introduced to him by the principal, John Miller, and uh, uh, Miss Kathy Cakley, who was the secretary and good friend of ours. And so they introduced us, and I gave him my resume and my card and uh, didn't really hear anything for about a year. EWTN is big news, but only part of the story. In November, another dream came true for Joe when he married Nell Powell, one of 12 children from Granby. They had a double wedding. Nell is a twin. Her sister Christina married Joe's close friend, Charles Smith. Nell actually ended up coming to a concert that I was playing and um, I didn't even realize that through Facebook I had invited her. Uh, we had known of each other for a long time and uh, she ended up coming to the concert and uh, by herself. So <laughs> I sat down with her and, uh, and then we ended up just talking and, and that sort of led into the start of a beautiful relationship. I have to say Joe really just helps me in every single way possible. He helps me to like go out of my comfort zone. He always <laughs> embarrasses me, <laughs> but he really is such a great guy and I am so proud of him, especially getting this job with EWTN. It's been his dream forever, so I cannot be more proud of him and I know that you know, he's going to continuously help me in every single way and I'm so lucky to have him. Anybody who knows Joe Juck probably isn't surprised that he was scooped up by EWTN. For years, he's been a known talent in the diocese, not only for his musical abilities, but also for his involvement in youth ministry. Joe and his family belong to St. Stanislaus Bishop and Martyrs Parish in Chicopee, where he was an active member and leader of the San Damiano Youth Group. He and other teens often prayed outside of the abortion clinic in Springfield, and he started the Holy Thursday Seven Church Pilgrimage in the diocese, inviting other youth to join in. Last Christmas, he directed the Greccio and Chicopee, St. Francis's Living Nativity, a play based on a tradition started by St. Francis of Assisi in Italy in the 13th century, complete with actors portraying the Holy Family and live animals. And while this local star and his new bride moved far away to Alabama, the home of EWTN, they're leaning on their faith to prepare them for what lies ahead. The flowers and the dress and all of that is, is important, but you know, when it comes down to it, you really just have to think of what's most important. And to, to us, that is the actual sacrament. And you know, you know, saying you know, what we believe in and saying I do, you know, for better or for worse, we're always going to be there for each other with Jesus right there. So that's what's most important to us. 
And as this young couple starts out, so many of the people they have touched over the years will be praying for them as they begin a new journey following Christ together. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath.